cozy, huh? <laughs> He's so cute. He's like a cute little kitty. It's morning time. I just woke up. It's actually like way later than I normally wake up. A monkey. It's 9.54. Almost 10 o'clock. Thank you. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be shooting another what I eat in a day video because you guys seem to really like those. I just woke up and it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I hardly ever sleep in this late. I usually go to yoga at like 9 or 9.30, so this is like sleeping in for me, but it is so shitty outside. The weather is like rainy and slushy and cold, but like not super cold and all the snow is melting and then freezing at night. Yeah, it's just like that sleep in type weather. Monkey wakes up and always has some water. Hi, monkey. It's smart to keep water in several places throughout the house if you have a cat because cats forget to drink water apparently. They don't have like a thirst sensor, so they need a reminder. So this is me reminding my cat to drink water and it works. So we just put like a bowl in our bedroom and every morning he gets up and he has some water. Like everybody should. So now I'm having some coffee. So I'm gonna just put some homemade cashew milk in the cup. That was kind of a lot. And some French press coffee. I usually drink decaf, but I actually got regular. So we're having regular at this point. So it is 12.40 and I still haven't eaten anything today. I had um, some coffee and my friend brown one came over and so she had a kombucha so i had some kombucha it's the guava kind and it was really yummy i haven't had that kind in a long time so it was really good um yeah just been kind of like hanging out and talking and stuff i haven't been super hungry for the past couple of days for some reason i don't know why so just now i finally got kind of hungry so i am going to make like some like raw breakfasty type cereal stuff i don't really know what it is um and I will show you how, like what I do to make that. And then I'm also gonna make some cashew milk because I need some cashew milk to go with it. So well, that's what I'm about to do. And I'll show you guys how I do it. Okay, so I'm gonna make my cashew milk first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take some cashews and pop them into my blender. If you don't have a high speed blender, I would recommend soaking your cashews first, but I've got a nice old Vitamix, so. Anyway, um, so like, I don't know about a cup of cashews maybe that's not a cup like three quarters of a cup of cashews i don't know it kind of depends on how much nut milk you want to make so um i would say maybe a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of cashews are going in and then filtered water i'm gonna probably put in like i don't know four cups or something like that it just depends on how thick and creamy you want your milk um, if you want it really thick and creamy, then add more cashews and less water. And if you don't want it super creamy and you want it a little more watery, then just add more water and add less cashews. So I'll do an actual like recipe video on my cashew milk soon and figure out how much of these things I'm actually putting in. But yeah, that is about how much I might put in a little bit more water. That's about how much I'm gonna do. That looks about good. So. The next thing I'm going to do is add in some dates. So these are just pitted dates. I'm just going to add in a couple of those. I don't want my milk too sweet. If you want it more sweet, put more in. If you don't want it sweet at all, then don't put any in. Um, and then I'm also going to add in some cinnamon just because I really like my milk to be kind of like a cinnamony type milk. So, And I use this like organic Vietnamese cinnamon and it just kind of has like a little bit more yummy flavor to me. I don't know. So. Again, I don't really measure, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of cinnamon, so it's just like a little bit of cinnamony milk. 
So essentially, literally, it's cashews, water, dates, and cinnamon. And if you don't want it sweet, then don't add the dates and the cinnamon, um, and you'll just have regular cashew milk that you could use in like savory recipes too. But I like to use mine in smoothies and in my coffee and tea, so I always make mine like this. So, and then pop the lid on and blend away. Maybe I should turn it on. Okay, so this has been blending up for like five minutes. Like my blender is super hot to the touch. So depending on what kind of blender you have, um, blend it up for however long you want. But you'll see that like this nice frothy kind of layer forms and that's a good sign that it's pretty well blended up. But yeah, it's nice and frothy and it's actually steaming because it blended for so long. Mine probably didn't have to go this long, but yeah. And then unlike almond milk and any other kinds of milk, you don't have to strain it um, because cashews are pretty soft and creamy. So I'm just gonna pour that into a jar and that's how I make cashew milk. Just pouring that into a jar and then we'll just keep in the fridge for a while, um, maybe four to five days, maybe a week. You'll be able to tell if it's not good anymore, but boom. Homemade cashew milk, super easy, really delicious. You know what's inside of it. It's not just bought from the store with all these preservatives and shit. And it's really damn tasty. So I highly recommend making your own cashew milk at home, especially if you don't have a nut milk bag. That way you don't have to strain it, so. And Monkey has something to say. What? He wants to rub on my vegan socks. Vegan. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I make this like raw-ish type cereal that I, it's kind of like oatmeal, but not cooked. So yeah, I'm just gonna be using those ingredients and I'll show you guys exactly how I make it. So the first thing I'm gonna be using is just like a little bit of quick oats because I have some left. So I'm just gonna add those into my bowl. Um, you can use quick oats or rolled oats or whatever you want. Um, I have these quick oats left, so. I'm just gonna use those. The next thing I'm gonna add is just some cocoa powder. If you have cacao, you can use that. So I'm making like chocolate peanut butter raw oatmeal, I don't know. Then I'm adding some peanut butter powder. And this peanut butter powder that I have um, has a little bit of sugar and salt in it. So it kind of helps sweeten it up. But if yours doesn't have sugar in it, then you can always add like some chopped up dates or a little bit of coconut sugar or whatever you'd like to sweeten it. But this stuff has sugar in it, so it's usually about perfect for me. Um, and then I'm gonna add in some raisins. That also helps with the sweetness. So add in some raisins and some walnuts. These are just raw walnut pieces, so just add in some walnuts. And I'm gonna add in some coconut, so this is just unsweetened coconut. I'm just gonna add in some coconut and I think that's it. I think that's it as far as like the actual ingredients go. I feel like I'm, oh no, cinnamon. It's like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. And I, again, I like cinnamon. So I'm adding some more of this like Vietnamese organic cinnamon. So not a ton because there is some in the milk too, but just a little bit. Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna add turmeric too because why not get some anti-inflammatory shit going on in your breakfast so I'm gonna add a little bit of turmeric too and then you just want to mix all this up and then you're just really gonna like pour your homemade cashew milk over the top so if you're in a hurry or you know you just need a quick breakfast that's nice and hearty this is you know or if you don't feel like cooking this is a really good way to go. Um, you can also like mix this up ahead of time, put this like in little Ziploc bags or in little Tupperwares and just add milk to it or boiling water later and you have like instant oatmeal. So I just didn't feel like cooking and I feel like being lazy. So this is what I'm making for breakfast today. So then all we're gonna do is some of that homemade cashew milk. I had some leftover in the fridge. I'm just gonna add some of that. This also kind of thickens up as you let it sit. So I add a, usually a decent amount of the cashew milk to it. Um, you can always add more, but I like this kind of like that, like, I don't know, like cream wheat texture almost. You can also add chia seeds, flax seeds, 
almonds you can add you don't have to do peanut butter chocolate you can do vanilla you can do whatever you want so this is just kind of what i like to make i love chocolate and peanut butter i have a really good chocolate peanut butter smoothie on my uh channel so if you haven't checked that out go look at that because it's really easy and really delicious so that looks about good so i just like mix that up and right now it's still kind of like watery but i'll show you in a minute what it kind of like sets up and looks like and then i'm going to just slice a banana and put it on top and that's what i'm going to eat for breakfast so you can see how it's like thickened up quite a bit and that's just because like the oats are soaking up the water and the pb2 kind of thickens up as it sits so that's about how i like it i'm just gonna top it with like a little bit more um cashew milk because it will continue to kind of thicken up so and i'm just pretending this is oatmeal without cooking it so i'm just adding a little bit more cashew milk and then i'm just topping it with some sliced banana And that's literally what I'm gonna eat for breakfast. I guess it's like one o'clock now, so I don't know what time is it. It's 1.04. <laughs> this is what I'm eating at 1.04. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat this and that's gonna be my little breakfast. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna eat. Okay, so fast forward a lot of hours. <laughs> And it is now like 6.45 p.m. And I still haven't eaten anything other than that like raw cereal bowl I had at like one o'clock. And I don't know why, but I've just not been very hungry the past few days. Um, I don't know if there's something going on like cosmically or what is going on, but like I haven't been hungry. My boyfriend said he hasn't been hungry at all. We've literally like made food and then just not really wanted to eat it. And I, I'm really wanting to like listen to my body. I've been drinking a lot of water, um, but I didn't really eat very much today. But I went to hot yoga at four o'clock. I showered, I read a little bit, and now I'm actually kind of hungry. Still not super hungry, which is kind of weird. So I think um, I'm just gonna eat some leftovers before I go meet up with a friend for his birthday. Yeah, so like last night we made spring rolls and Kate, like I went to hot yoga at seven and I came home and Casey had made an entire spring roll setup, like marinated and baked tofu and carrots and romaine and rice noodles and all of this stuff, like a spicy peanut dipping sauce. And it looked so good and we got it all set up and all this stuff and we were about ready to eat. We like rolled up a roll, started eating it and we both were just like, I'm just like not very hungry and we like didn't really eat. So we had each had one spring roll last night. So we have lots of spring roll leftover stuff. So I think I'm actually just going to make like a little salad out of it. So I don't have to like soak the spring roll wrappers and roll them up because like I'm feeling kind of lazy and I need to get some work done before I go meet up with my friends. So I think I'm just gonna like mush all this stuff together, chop it all, chop up some extra romaine and put the peanut sauce over the top and eat that. So um, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna eat for dinner. So yeah, I've got this like bag of spring roll leftovers. So there's like romaine and some julienne carrots and rice noodles and that like marinated and baked tofu strips. And then this is that spicy peanut dipping sauce that he made with peanut butter powder instead of regular peanut butter. So that's the spicy peanut dipping sauce. And I think I'm just gonna take like some of this stuff and then chop up some extra romaine and just eat it like a salad. Just do some romaine down on the bottom and let's start piling some of this other shit in here like some of these rice noodles and some of these tofu chunks so we just marinated these in like some simple marinade like tamari and I don't even remember what else he did garlic and ginger and all that stuff I'm gonna take these beautiful little various color carrot shreds. So we had like purple carrots and white carrots and yellow carrots and orange carrots. So that's what these are. Some extra romaine that's left in here. I don't know. I'm just making a giant salad. So I have recipes for all this stuff that I'm working on for you guys. So keep um, watching my channel so you guys can watch those when they come out. So yeah, this is like a powdered peanut butter Thai peanut sauce. 
I'm just putting some of that on there and I'm literally gonna mix that around and eat that with my mouth. And then I am just going to top it with a little sriracha for some extra kick. If I had cilantro, I would put it on there too, but I don't, so. That is what I'm gonna eat for dinner. This is the little salad bowl that I'm eating for dinner. Actually, it looks really yummy. That's what I'm eating for dinner. Um, and then I'm gonna go down to a brewery and have beers for my friend's birthday. And I'll show you that, cause like, that counts as food. You know, beer has calories in it. Beer is pretty much just like eating bread. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this delicious looking salad. And then I'm gonna head down there. And I'm not sure if I'll eat anything else. Hi, monkey. Again, it kind of just depends on if I'm hungry or not. Uh, I'll probably be getting home like semi late again. It's like seven o'clock right now. This will probably keep me full for a little bit. I guess we'll see. Maybe beers will fill me up. If I do eat something though, I will definitely show you guys. So who knows? I might come home and want like some banana ice cream or an apple. I don't even know what we have. If I eat again, I'll show you. Um, and I'll definitely uh, try to remember to vlog while I'm at the brewery and tell you what kind of beer and stuff that I get. Um, yeah, let's try this. Mmm, mmm. That peanut sauce with the powdered peanut butter that Casey made yesterday, he used my recipe that I came up with, but mmm, it was so good. It's even better today. Everything like sat and melded overnight so this is really good I'm gonna finish eating this I'm gonna get some work done and then I'm gonna go down to the brewery downtown and I'll see you guys in a minute I know you can't see it very well but the full moon is fucking epic right now it has been snowy and rainy here for like oh my god weeks and the fact that I can see the full moon right now it's a full moon in Cancer. I'm a Cancer, so like, I'm stoked. It's beautiful and clear and cold and everyone has still their cute little lights up. It's amazing. The snow in the ground um, is really dangerous. It's been like raining, snowing mix and, uh, and then freezing at night. So it's been really dangerous, but I'm about to brave it and go downtown to hang out with my friends. It's exactly two o'clock. Exactly so two o'clock. We went out, we had drinks with our friends, and like I said, I was probably gonna be hungry later. So we made a giant plate of fries and three dipping sauce options. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. two in the morning. We're finally like kind mm -hmm. of hungry, so we're eating. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna watch Something. Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We're gonna watch Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, then you should totally subscribe and give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will just see you guys in my next video. Peace out. <laughs>
And we have like peanut dipping sauce and the end of a bottle of ranch and sour cream that I just made because if you've never had fries and sour cream, then you're fucking missing out. <laughs>